Hi everyone, it's me again, Abby Zane, and part three of how I jump into becoming an artist. Well, okay, uh, we stopped at um, Rumah Seni dan Craft Gemilang, right? Yeah. Okay, how did I start with Rumah Seni dan Craft Gemilang? Okay, Rumah means house, Seni is art and craft and Gemilang means something that is that is uh, successful and brilliant. Well, it all started in 2010. Oh, before that, it started in 2008. After I had an exhibition with two other artists, it was a trio show. It was called Zigzag Zoo, and it was held in at the Zoo Negara. So right after that, that um, event, um, I actually. Uh, near my place where I live, which is at the condominium, there is actually a, a clubhouse whereby at this clubhouse there is there is a space and a place whereby it was formerly a library and I actually liked the space and I said why not I turn into a, a, a mini gallery or a place for the kids to learn and I could teach art. So there I, I went to meet with the manager and I got the place. And yeah, a lot of people think that you know when you want to open up a business, you need lots and lots of money, but you actually don't actually. So whatever you have, um, you have ideas, you know, you have ideas, you have space and there you go, you can start anything you want to start and you can make some money. Um, well, my aim actually was initially to start that uh, art classes for kids, for children. And initially I started it at home and I had six students. Um, then when I, I, I got that new place in Oak Leaf Club, um, we actually had already, we reached like 30 uh, total number of students. We had... Um, them coming in and every year, almost every year until 2016. So we had a, a blast. We had exhibitions for the kids. We had uh, Prof Jai coming for the to um, appreciate the event. We we had Top One Mahani Idris Dahim actually in 2010 in March. I think it was March the sixth whereby she officiated the place and we had some merchandise being sold and it was all at that time I was doing naive art and it was really really a great time for me because uh, I was uh, finally I, f I found out someone told me that I'm brave enough to open up the gallery well yeah I mean somebody's got to do it right <laughs> anyway after having uh, being a teacher for so many many kids, children and at that time as well I was still uh, doing my art and um, I was really really busy actually I didn't do that many exhibitions until because I was also going abroad um, there was one time I was in Iran uh, 2010 as well 11, 2011 I was in Iran for a trio show as well and it was an invited uh, by an ir Iranian artist so I was there to represent Malaysia and yeah I didn't I didn't even thought that I would go there to Iran so I was there like a week um, that was a evolution series that that I had I brought to to Iran and some of my naive artworks and after that, uh, there was another event which I collaborated with Tony, uh, Safira, and also Ellie. That was in London. Uh, that was for pop out, pop out, experimental photography, photography and art com combination. That was a, that was like um, a lot of fun and also some education because every single day we would go to. To the city of London to actually do our stuff you know what we did was actually paint on our faces and uh, we became one of the art objects basically 
So there was one time actually we were at this tours in Malaysia just to like say hi, hello, we're from Malaysia and you know we are Malaysians and stuff like that and you know what did the officers told us that you know you better be careful because you might get caught or something like that and we just said okay whatever and we just continued with our project and I had just for three weeks and I, I came back to Malaysia and oh there was one time when National Art Gallery actually took me to, to Shanghai and I was there like a month um, a month yeah come uh, after thinking back about all these all those um, activities I had I think I'm, I've come a very long way and I should be happy to be surviving and to be still doing what I do and then probably uh, doing different things as well like writing books and stuff which I will be talking to you in the next video so join me with Abby Zane Malaysian visual artist women power